Creating and editing a game. This video is an overview of how to create a new Factile game and how to edit existing games. To create a new game, press the New Game button on the My Games page. This pop-up will appear and you'll need to enter in a unique URL for your game. Um, this could be anything that identifies your game. Perhaps you want to write the class name, the week that it's being delivered, maybe the project name. I'm going to type in grammar review week week two class. And then go ahead and press save and continue. Then you'll be directed to your Factile board. To get started, give your game a title by clicking in the space here and then typing in the name of your game. I'm going to put in Grammar Review Week Week 2. Down here you'll see six categories with five tiles in each category. To start naming your categories, click on the space above the category and then type in the category name. Here I'm going to put comparative forms here, superlative forms. And then I'll continue to label each of my categories. To activate the tiles in the category, click on one of the tiles and then you'll see this pop up. This is where you put your question and answer into the tile. If you have a pro subscription, you'll also see this additional option here called choice. This lets you play your game in choice mode where you have multiple answer options. If you don't have a pro subscription, this option will just be grayed out. So entering in your questions and answers, um, the question will go here in this space. And you can just type in your question. And then you'll put the answer down here in this line. If you have a pro subscription, you do have some additional features that you can use when you're creating and editing a game. You'll have the additional features here like the spell checker and the ability to change your text formatting. You can also copy and paste your question and answers from a Microsoft Word document into the tile. For changing the text formatting, you can do things like bold your text, um, you can italicize it, you can add bullets, you can even add emoticons. You can also add pictures, videos, or math equations into your tiles. If you don't have a pro subscription, these features will just be grayed out. Going back to getting the question and answer into your tile, once you have the question and the answer in these two lines, go ahead and press save. As you can see, the tile value has now turned yellow. This means that the tile is active. All tiles that have question and answers in them will appear active for gameplay. If you find that you don't want to use all of your tiles or all of your categories, just don't put anything in them. If you don't want to use a category, leave everything in it blank, and then it won't appear during gameplay. If you find you just don't want to use all of the tiles, maybe you only want to have values uh, 100 through 400, you can just leave these tiles blank and they'll just appear grayed out during gameplay. Once you've finished entering in your content, you can open the game for play by using this button here, or you can return to the My Games page. You can open up a game for editing from the My Games page by using this Edit button under your game. I'm going to go ahead and open up that same game that we just looked at. Okay, and here is my game for editing. This display function is really handy when you're editing a game. By default, you'll see the points value. However, you can use these two options here, questions and answers. This one will show you all of the questions for the tiles, and this one will show you all of the answers. This makes finding the tile that you want to edit much easier. So to edit a tile, go ahead and click on the tile, make whatever changes that you need to, And any changes that you made, make sure you press save when you're done. Something else you can do when you're editing your game. 
you may find that you'd want to change the order of the categories. Um, let's say, for example, this comparative forms. I actually really wanted this category to be second, not first. I can use these arrows down here at the bottom to change the order of the category. So I'm going to move this. And now, as you can see, superlatives becomes my first category and comparative forms is now in the second position on my factile board. Another thing you can do is you can copy the content of an entire category. This is really useful if you're creating multiple games with similar content. My game here, Grammar Review Week 2, I'm probably making a weekly series, so I might want to use some of the same content or at least similar content in the following weeks. So what I can do is I can use these, um, these three dots at the top of the category, click on them, and click copy. This will copy the content of the entire category. Then you want to go back to the My Games page, and then you want to open up the game that you're copying the content to. Actually, we're going to put this one in Grammar Review Week 1. Wherever you want to put that category, click the three dots above that category, and then choose Paste. You'll be prompted with this message here. Um, if you're sure that you want to copy the content to this category, go ahead and press Yes, Paste it. If you do this, all of the content that's in the current category will be erased, and then all the new information will be there in its place. Okay, so I'm going to press that, and this will pop up once I've pasted the content successfully. I can now continue making any edits that I need to, I can launch the game for play, or return to the My Games page.